Am I the asshole for refusing to pay the babysitter for new glasses after my daughter broke her old ones? I'll preface this by saying that I, am 35. I'm a widower with two kids, 9, 11. I recently got back to work and since I work night shifts, I had to get the kids a babysitter. They're at school during the day and my sister stays with them. I was able to find a babysitter with the help of a co-worker. Actually they're related. And things have been going pretty well except for few days ago. The babysitter called me while I was at work to tell me that my nine-year-old daughter broke her glasses. I got home, heard both sides of the story and came to a conclusion that it was in fact an accident. But the babysitter said my daughter broke them intentionally after she refused to let her outside late in the evening. I asked my 11-year-old daughter and she said the babysitter's story is accurate but since she and her sister have a beef then, I figured she lied to set her sister up. My 9-year-old daughter cried and said she didn't mean it and it was an accident. I apologized to the babysitter for the misunderstanding but she insisted there was no misunderstanding and then asked me to pay her for a pair of new glasses. I was taken aback by her request and told her I thought we talked this out and rolled it out as an accident but she insisted it wasn't an accident. I apologized but refused and said it was unfair to expect me to pay, especially since she didn't pay attention to keep her glasses safe regardless of whether it was an accident or not. The babysitter argued with me then started crying swearing that my daughter broke them to get back at her. My 11-year-old daughter sided with her but my 9-year-old said she is only siding with the babysitter for her own benefits. The girl started fighting and I ended up telling the babysitter to leave. She got my co-worker involved and she said I should take responsibility and pay the babysitter for new glasses since she cannot afford them being a broke college student and in need for glasses. I apologized but refused to pay. My co-worker got upset and shamed me for condoning my younger daughter's actions and treating the babysitter poorly when she's the victim in this situation. It's been days and the babysitter is still wanting me to pay for new glasses but I feel like she's trying to use the fact that I'm in dire need of help and is hoping to get extra money out of my pocket. You are the asshole. It doesn't actually matter if it was an accident or not. Your child broke her glasses so you need to pay to replace them. You are the asshole. You are actually legally responsible for accidents as well as deliberate breakages that happen on your property to people you have employed. Quite apart from that. You are teaching your daughter that her actions have no consequences if she didn't me on it. Your co-worker is right and even your 11-year-old daughter can see this. Grow up. Take responsibility and make good the damage. If you don't, I hope she sues you, because she would win. 100% you are the asshole. I can't believe that you actually think it is not your responsibility. Your daughter broke the glasses and whether accidental or deliberate you need to pay for them. You are the asshole. Do you even hear yourself? Whether it was an accident or not is irrelevant, however in this case it be seems more likely that your younger daughter is lying because she's afraid of being in trouble. What is relevant is your daughter was involved in breaking the babysitter's medically necessary equipment, while she was working for you. I suspect this is not the only example in your life when you've tried to weasel out of paying for something you should be responsible for. Just pay for the new glasses already. If your babysitter is still babysitting for you while you stiff her, I hope she wises up and stops. Babysitters are a valuable resource, and this one is making it possible for you to earn your living. You are the asshole. If I accidentally hit your car and dented it, would you be okay with me brushing you off and saying, hey it was an honest accident? Man up and take parental responsibility for your daughter's actions and buy your sitter new glasses. Let me preface this by listing specific reasons why I think I'm not required to hold my kids responsible for their actions especially when it'll cost me money. Pay for the glasses. You are the asshole. You are the asshole. Pay for the glasses. Your daughter broke them on purpose, even your other daughter is telling you so. Stop treating her like the baby just because she's the youngest. Even if it was an accident the decent thing to do would be to pay for them. You are the asshole. Glasses are for a disability. If your daughter broke a wheelchair, would you still feel the same? I know I can't see a thing without my glasses. I can't do anything or go anywhere. And some glasses can cost hundreds because of prescription alone. Would I be the asshole if I announced my pregnancy? A month ago my mom, 37, found out she is pregnant with her 10th child. She announced it towards the end of January and everyone has been happy for her since she was told she couldn't have any more kids because it was a health risk for her. She takes every opportunity to let everyone know she is pregnant, like at my dad's retirement when people were congratulating my dad for retiring from the military she would change the subject or having a baby. It got old fast, 
we're happy for her but she's taking it too far. On the 13th of February my husband, 21, and I, 21, found out that we are expecting our second child as well. This little one was a big surprise because we were told that I wasn't going to be able to get pregnant again due to the complication from our daughter. We haven't announced it to everyone just really close family members like my parents and my in-laws. When we told my mother she threw a fit, she began accusing us of trying to take attention off her and her little miracle. Telling us that we got pregnant just to spite her and that we shouldn't say anything about us being pregnant to anyone until her baby is born. Which is a month before we're due. Cold sweat smile she also started going on about if anything happens to her baby it's our fault because we're causing stress for her and that this pregnancy is hard already and we made it worse. My dad and my mom's family have been begging us not to say anything about our pregnancy so that my mom doesn't stress. I don't want to stress my mom out and have harm come to her baby but at the same time I feel like I should also be allowed to celebrate and share my pregnancy as we thought we couldn't have any more children. Would I be the asshole if I announced our little tater tot coming anyways? Not the asshole. Ten children? I'm not trying to bash her or anything, but if you're not allowed to get pregnant while she is pregnant, like, when would you possibly be able to have a kid and tell people about it? Her logic is completely skewed. Both of your pregnancies are important. One does not overshadow the other. Your mom is stressing herself out and she can get over it. Info. Does your mom just get pregnant so people will pay attention to her? I hate to break it to OP's mother, but a tenth child at 37 isn't a miracle. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your mom sounds very self-centered and like she is in need of therapy. Your pregnancy has nothing to do with her, yet she's making your pregnancy about her and the supposed impact that it has on her child. I'm really sorry that your mother isn't more understanding, supportive and happy that you're pregnant, especially since, as you said, you didn't think you'd be able to have another child. That sucks. Why WNBTAOMG er mum needs to chill. Not the asshole. Your mom sounds narcissistic. I find her reaction really strange. Shouldn't she be happy that you're happy and she's getting another grandchild? Go celebrate your new baby and don't let her put a damper on you and your husband's joy. You would be not the asshole, unless you announce it in a way designed to be obnoxious like at an event that your mom was hosting. I am quite amused your mother thinks she somehow deserves a monopoly on having babies for the whole year. It's like someone who celebrates their birthday month with some extra audacity sprinkled in. Not the asshole. Your pregnancy, your announcement to make. Your mom already got to have 10 announcements and you never thought you'd get a second. Let your mom throw her fit. If real world happenings in the lives of her children cause her so much stress that it harms her pregnancy, then it wasn't meant to be, as the whole world doesn't stop to adhere to her desires. And hash x 200 b. Honestly, I would have announced to everyone except your mom in your shoes, but as I was reading I realized you'd already told her. Dot. Maybe just wait until you're 3-4 months in and the doctor says everything is looking good and then announce. How weird for you to have a child already that will be older than their aunt, uncle on the way. I can't even imagine one pregnancy let alone 10. Shudder. Am I the asshole for refusing to walk my daughter down the aisle? I, M49, have two daughters, Marie, 27, and Julie, 23. For context Julie is not my biological daughter since I married my current wife when she was only two and since her dad was absent I adopted her as my own but I love both my daughters the same. This being said, I am closer to Julie since she has and still live with us and we do almost everything together. Instead, Marie is closer to her mom, mainly cause her mom got full custody of her and has never lived with me. Now, to the main issue. Julie got engaged about a year ago and immediately asked me to walk her down the aisle. I of course agreed and have actively helped her with the planning of the wedding which is scheduled to October, 2022. A couple of weeks ago Marie asked me to go grab some coffee with her and let me know she's currently pregnant and will soon get married. To be honest this got me off guard since I didn't even know she had a boyfriend. She apparently will have quiet a fast wedding since she doesn't want to show too much, meaning her wedding will be in three months. She says it'll be a small ceremony and asked me to walk her down the aisle. I felt weird about it since I don't even know her fiancé and it's all so sudden so I asked her to let me think about it. It seemed like this answer surprised her but she understood. I then went home and let my wife and daughter know and Julie asked me to please decline since she wanted to be the first to be walked down the aisle and since she asked first, thinks that I have a stronger commitment to her. I agreed since this is more of an us thing rather than an after though like Marie's wedding. 
I then sent a message to Marie letting her know of my decision with a brief explanation and even offered options like her mom or stepdad to walk with her. I also reassured her that I'd still be with her there and support her with anything. She almost immediately called me crying and telling me how much of a horrible father I am and how I apparently have always played favorite, which hurt me since it's simply not true, I love them both. I tried to explain my reasoning but she said it doesn't matter and doesn't care about my excuses. She ended up hanging up and my ex has been sending me tons of texts berating me and calling me names. Now word has spread to some family members and they are calling me a deadbeat and trash, but my wife and daughter agree that my decision is the only fair one and shouldn't be pressured into doing something I don't want. I'm starting to feel guilty but I'm honestly unsure. Am I the asshole for refusing to walk my daughter down the aisle? And hash x200b. Edit. I don't know what to do now. These comments have really opened my eyes on how horrible I was to my daughter. I feel like I've been oblivious to several things I did and allowed to happen. I feel like the worst asshole there is and I don't even know if there's room to fix it. I'll try to reach out to her but after reading your opinions, I doubt she'll accept and I'd totally get it. You are the asshole. You should be walking them both down the aisle instead of just picking one over the other. Julie wanting to be the first to be walked down the aisle is frankly a ridiculous request and if you explained that as your reasoning to your daughter no wonder she was crying down the phone. Yeah, you are the asshole here. Big time. You're refusing to walk your daughter down the aisle because your other daughter wanted to be first? That's super selfish. You are the asshole. But my wife and daughter agree. Of course they agree, because agreeing with you benefits them only. Walking Marie down the aisle does not diminish you walking Julie down the aisle. Marie offered you something precious, and you tossed it aside like trash. Congrats, Julie won't just be your favorite daughter. She might end up being your only daughter, though I doubt you care. You are the asshole. Walking her down the aisle is about her, not her fiancé. Wanting to be, first, is absolutely ridiculous. Parental love is not a zero-sum game. One daughter isn't more walked down the aisle or more married because it happened before the other. To decline specifically in favor of your other daughter is straight up cruel. You are the asshole. You are, quite obviously, playing favorites. You are blaming your daughter for your mistake of not being in your daughter's life by claiming your ex, had full custody, you were as present as you made sure to be. It sounds like you let Julie and your current wife exclude your biological daughter by taking the easy path. You are the asshole, are you really going to refuse to be there for your daughter's special day because your other daughter wants to be special? You do play favorites by this choice. And you basically told Marie that your second daughter's need to be first is more important to you than her. Yeah, you are the asshole. You're not refusing on the grounds of you choosing not to do it. You're refusing because you are, in fact, essentially playing favorites by letting Julie get what she wants, which is walking her down the aisle first. She's acting like a spoiled, entitled, selfish brat, and you're allowing it all because you're closer to her. It's no wonder your biological daughter is upset with you. I'd be pissed and hurt too. Also, I wonder how much time and effort you've put into trying to get to spend more time with Marie and get to know her as an adult. You sound irked by the fact that she's closer to her mom because her mom had custody, and I get that, but that's not an excuse to not know her now. She's an adult, get to know her. Info. In what context is the adoption relevant? Why did you feel the need to mention it when, as far as I can tell, it isn't relevant at all? Are we supposed to think that prioritizing your adopted daughter makes you a great dad? What has the adoption got to do with this? Am I the asshole for not telling my friend about the very painful and dangerous side effects my medicine has? I will be using a the asshole because this story has medical information I don't want people in my main to know. English is my second language, be free to correct me. I, 30F, have been a fat girl since very young, and last year it got to the point where I weighed 120 kilograms, 242 pounds on a 160 centimeters, 5.4 feet height. No matter how hard I tried, exercise and diet were not enough. So I went to my endocrinologist and we started a medicine that is the new trend for obese patients. I won't give the name for safety reasons. The treatment was like a miracle. After been one year on it, and obviously with more exercise and diet, I am only 20 kg, 40 pounds away from my ideal weight. I know it sounds like a lot but believe me, is a huge step forward. I have never been this skinny, and it shows. Enter my friend Jesse, 28F. Jesse is also a chubby girl, not on the level 1 was but still enough to affect her self-esteem. Long story short, Jesse asked me how I have done it, 
I told her about the medicine and the dosage I used and that was it. I thought she would try to the same therapy, but, you know, with the help of a doctor. She didn't. She bought the medicine and used it. Guys, this medicine has to be managed very carefully. You start with a very low volume and then increase to my current one. A process that takes months. She used the full doses on the first try. Basically, she completely resetted her digestive system. Pain worse than an appendicitis, projectile puke, explosive diarrhea, among others. Probably did some mild damage to her pancreas too. She entered the ER and left the hospital five days later. Jessie, her family and even some of our common friends are blaming me for what happened, and she is also asking me to pay her not only the money she spent on the drug, more or less $500 USA dollars, but also the hospital's costs, as her insurance won't cover it because she poisoned herself with a drug not sent by a doctor. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole Jesus, she did that to herself. It's her own fault for not going through a physician. Not the asshole. I tell people about my thyroid medication and dosage all the time. I don't expect them to buy the medication on the side and start taking it without regard to the drug instructions, which advise a build-up period and doctor supervision. I'm not responsible for what anyone puts in their body unless I put it there. Legally, you are not obligated to pay anything. You were describing your medication, not giving medical advice. Info. Is this a prescription drug? How did your friend purchase it? Info. Is the medicine available only through a prescription, or is it an over-the-counter medicine? If it's prescription only, she either obtained it illegally or she got it prescribed but didn't follow her doctor's directions, you are not the asshole. If it's available over the counter, unlikely, with such difficult dosing directions, she utterly ignored the directions or you didn't spell out how it should be taken, you are still not the asshole, because you aren't the doctor or the pharmaceutical company. Long story short, Jessie is 28, and it's time for her to grow up and accept responsibility for her own stupidity. Not the asshole not your responsibility WTF. That is so fucked up. She's an adult and made her own bad choice. Do not give her a dime. Not the asshole. Medical decisions should be made with a doctor. And you didn't force her to buy anything. So asking you to reimburse her for the drug she misused is laughable. Honestly, this doesn't sound like the kind of person I'd want as a friend. This may be a good time to cut your losses and move on. Not the asshole. Any idiot knows that Rx drugs should only be taken under the supervision of a doctor it's literally an ever TV commercial and magazine ad. She did a stupid thing. Not your fault. It would be like me in my endo pain looking at my father-in-law and asking how do you manage your fibromyalgia pain. High dose oxy? Okay, here we go. It's dumb. She has no one to blame but herself. Not the asshole if she was able to buy this medicine over the counter and it's so dangerous and expensive. That must mean at the very least there are instructions on the bottle or some warning about asking a doctor about how best to use it. So she either didn't read the instructions or didn't follow the instructions. Either way that's on her. Not the asshole if all you did was truthfully answer your friend's questions. How did she acquire the medication without a doctor's prescription?